everyone, Glory here. Welcome back to my channel where I love to talk about sustainable fashion, lifestyle and well-being. So you might notice that I am in a slightly different setup. I just relaunched my fashion label, You Not Me. I have kind of a mini warehouse back there. It sells headbands like these, all handmade with love in Hong Kong, sometimes using dead stock materials. I don't want to get too much into it into this video, but I've linked below. So if you're interested, do check it out. So today I want to talk about an activewear brand that I really, really like, Girlfriend Collective, and specifically reviewing the bra top and bike shorts from two different collections, the Essentials and the New Float collection. So Girlfriend Collective is known for their sustainable activewear, but I have actually resisted getting the clothes for a long time because I've heard from reviews that their compressive leggings could get pretty hot when you wear them. Personally, breathability is like a really, really important factor when it comes to choosing activewear because I just get sweaty and gross basically. So I was just waiting for them to launch something that's a bit lighter. And they did. They recently launched their float collection, which is more lightweight than their classic collection. And I'm like, I'm in. I got the shorts and bra top both from their classic collection and their float collection. And in this review, I'll compare the two fabrics, talk about its fit, breathability, squat proof, sustainability, and more. But first, I want to talk a little bit about the story behind the brand. I'm always interested in that. If you want to skip right to the review, you can skip to the timestamp right here. But their story is good, I promise. The idea for Girlfriend Collective happened when founder Ellie Dink was having trouble finding women's leggings that were made ethically. This was back in 2016. Seeing a market opportunity for more eco-friendly activewear, she and her husband Chuan Ding decided to create such a brand. So Girlfriend Collective really caught my attention during their launch when they gave away $80 leggings free to anyone who shared their post on social media. They ended up receiving 10,000 orders on their first day and their website crashed within two days from heavy visitor load. But their bet paid off and the quality of their product really spoke for itself and Girlfriend Collective managed to spread through word of mouth really quick. Each pair of their classic compressive leggings is made with 25 recycled post-consumer water bottles. Most activewear are actually made with plastic fibers such as polyester and nylon to achieve performance quality. And Girlfriend Collective just makes theirs from recycled plastic, materials that would otherwise clog landfills and threaten wildlife. Not only does Girlfriend Collective consider the environmental impact when it comes to their clothes, they also consider the people who make their clothes. All their clothes are made in Vietnam by people paid a living wage, working fair hours, and in safe conditions. That's just basic. I don't know why brands just don't do that. Their campaigns often also feature a diverse set of models. To me, Girlfriend Collective is like a unicorn brand that truly looks good, whichever angle you look at it from. So I actually ended up keeping different sizes from the collections because the fabrics from the collections have different level of compressiveness, which affect the fit. I have also included my measurements and a summary of the styles and sizes I have bought, so those are in the description below. I ended settling with the medium bra top, medium bike shorts from the Essentials collection, and the small bra top and small bike shorts from their float collection. I'll explain my decision for the bra tops first. So really I should be fitting a small. Small fits me perfectly as you could see. The medium in the classic fabric actually looks a bit big on me but it's really comfortable. I really don't like bra tops that really constrict my chest because I feel like a mouse that's gonna be choked by a cobra. So I ended up settling with the medium bra top in the compressive fabric and the small bra top in the float fabric because for the float fabric it's actually pretty comfortable. Choosing the medium bra top fitting is definitely a personal preference. I'm sure to some other people small works fine for my measurement but that's just a personal preference. Onto the bike shorts. So it's a similar situation. I got the small for the float collection and the medium for the Essentials classic collection because the Essentials compressive fabric just feels a little bit tighter. I have been wearing my float bike shorts so much running errands in the heat of Hong Kong summer and I really love them. Both pair of bike shorts have a little pocket at the back for putting a card or something. I've actually never used it but I've also seen that they have just launched leggings with pockets right on the side so I've linked that in the description below as well. So on to the fabric. As you know I got two different type of fabrics here. The Essentials compressive fabric and the float fabric. The main difference you need to know is that the Essentials fabric is thicker, sturdier and more compressive so it's really down to personal preference and perhaps the climate you're at to determine what suits you. I received my Essentials bra top and bike shorts first and I have to say the fabric is really nice. It's really thick and soft and it really holds everything in. The weight of the fabric also means that the bra top is almost nipple proof. I wouldn't trust that with a light colored fabric but for the black it's pretty good. It's also probably because the size I chose is a little bit looser, but yeah, keep that in mind. 
I remember during my fashion design school days, my professor would say that how you judge the luxury quality of a garment is looking at the inside of the garment, how the garment is lined or how seams are done. And if you look at the inside of this bra top, you could see that Girlfriend Collective really cares about the quality of their product. Usually a lot of insides of bra tops are just finished by a serger, which works completely fine, you know, you can't tell from the outside, but the Girlfriend Collective one is finished so beautifully here. You could see that the band is really good for your comfort and also good on the eyes to be honest. Quality in clothing is not just about beauty on the outside, it's also about beauty in the inside and Girlfriend Collective really checks the mark here. For the float fabric, so I remember getting this near bedtime and I tried it on and I just didn't want to take them off because they're just so comfortable. They really feel like a second skin, really soft and breathable and I have just been wearing them so much. I have to say though, these are not really panty proof. I have worn them with non-lace underwear and you could still see the imprint from the outside. So go commando. Breathability. As I mentioned, you guys are probably sick of hearing this by now. Breathability is really important to me when choosing active wear. The float fabric definitely wins out on the breathability angle. I've worn this on really hot summer days running around in the city and they just feel really comfortable and not intrusive. The Essentials collection definitely feels more sturdy and substantial, but it definitely gets a bit hot. So for a recent hike I did, I actually paired my float bike shorts with my Essentials bra top because I don't want my legs to get too hot and I don't want my nipples to show through my bra. And that actually works out pretty well. Washing. So I've washed my Girlfriend Collective Active Wear at 30 degrees and let them air dry and they turned out great, like new. So no complaints. See throughness. So here I'm asking if the collection is squat proof or nipple proof. Long story short, the Essentials collection is definitely squat proof while the same can't be said for the float collection. As I said before, you could see your panty imprint even when you're not squatting. So yeah won't be too good when you're squatting. So if that's something important to you, take note. For nipple proofness, as both bra tops are not padded, you're really depending on the weight of the fabric for nipple proofness. The float collection is lighter weight, so not nipple proof at all. If this is something you care about, I suggest choosing the Essentials collection for your bra top and a darker color so the protruding is less obvious. Next, recycling your girlfriend leggings. It's really rare to find a company that cares about the environmental impact of their clothes even after they have sold it to you. But more companies are starting to do that, including Girlfriend. Regirlfriend is a program that is launched by Girlfriend to collect old compressive leggings for recycling. They didn't mention about the float leggings, so I assume that it's only for their compressive collection at the moment. After they collect your leggings, they will recycle them and make them into new pieces to be worn over and over and over again. You just need to send in your old leggings and they will take care of the rest and they will also send you store credit as a thank you. I think this is an incredible initiative so I've included a link below for you to learn more. Okay, in conclusion, overall, so I think I would choose the Essential Collection for bra tops because they are more nipple proof and the Float Collection for the bottoms because they are more breathable. I think I'll definitely order from Girlfriend again next time I need active wear because I really believe in their ethos. I think they have great design, style, and they just really care about the details down to the very little bit. As I mentioned, I've included all the sizes and styles I have gotten and also my personal measurements so that you could have a good reference. And that's it for my review of Girlfriend Collective Active Wear of both their Essentials collection and their Float collection. So if you like this review, do give me a thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. And if you have any more questions as well, do pop them below. Also, if you are interested in sustainable fashion, lifestyle, and well-being, do hit subscribe. Until next time.